From Legend, and while I was at it actually, they had a pretty nice stock of these Xbox lights. You guys know from other videos, I have the PlayStation icon lights around and my game over light and stuff like that. Always looking to add something kind of cool, so in case you're checking, if you're a gamer and you like stuff like this for your, your game room slash man cave or whatever, they got them out at Marshalls. Keep your eyes peeled. There's a Pac-Man one too. But that's not what we're talking about. What we are talking about is I finally went ahead and picked up a bottle of Chrome Legend. We'll bust it open and give it a smell. And before I rip it off, just in case you guys are wondering, $14.99 for a 40 ml. And not something I haven't smelled before. You know, I have smelled the old formulas with the different style cap, the bigger bottles, which this is the remake and reformula, which they changed several years ago, actually. For those of you that are interested, there is a batch code right here. I don't know if you'll be able to pick up. There we go. Or you can see it if you're interested. And there's... A little bit more information underneath on the sticker. Um, I've smelled this one many times. Um, T-note, real crisp, sharp edge. Uh, it's just one I've put off getting for a really long time. And I figured, why not? Actually, very good atomizer. It's fresh, it's crisp, and for having a T-note, it's not the most relaxing fragrance in the world. Not that I recall, anyways. Yeah, just really, really sharp. Yet aromatic, it's a sharp metallic type of citrus. It's almost like a herbal quality to it, but it's very, very sharp. Much more metallic than original Azaro Chrome is, because that's known to be pretty metallic. Synthetic, yes. Pleasant, even though sharp and metallic, actually, yes. It, it just works for what it is. It really does. Now, what kind of performance is it going to have? Who knows? I wouldn't think it's got the greatest performance in the world. I know years ago it was known to have some really good longevity and real strong projection. What it has now, I'm not sure. Um, that's one of the things that's kind of put me off is all the negative things I've heard over the years of the reformulated one. But for 15 bucks, I felt like it was worth a shot at the very least, be something I wear out the shower. Always looking to add to the out the shower rotation because that's a rotation in itself every week. Very pleasant though, not groundbreaking. You do smell kind of the DNA of the original Azaro Chrome. I guess that sharp metallicness is really what's given me that. But it's pleasant. I do get a little bit of that T-note. It does have a little bit of an herbal feel without being really spicy or anything like that. It just smells like a kind of a basic woody aromatic, to be completely honest with you. Nothing special or groundbreaking, which is kind of why I've always passed on it. You know, it never really intrigued me to the point to where I felt like I needed to pick it up, you know? And I kind of still feel that way smelling it now. That's not something that you really need to grab out there. Is it okay? Yeah. Solid fragrance. It's generic. It's cheap if you're on a hyper budget. Fragrances like this will get the job done for you. Can they pull compliments? I'm sure there are people out there that'll smell you when you walk by and say, Ooh, you smell really good. I'm sure it's capable of doing that. Does it come across to me as something that has a real high compliment factor? Not really, but any fragrance can pull a compliment. It all depends on who smells it, really and truly. But not bad for 15 bucks. I'll spend a little bit more time with this one. If this is something you guys want to see a full review of, make sure to let me know. I do have a full, a few fragrances that I'm testing currently to bring some more reviews for you guys. Um, let me know. Is a Zaro Chrome Legend something you guys would be interested in in a full review? Make sure to sound off in the comments. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe because I do appreciate all the feedback and I love hearing from you guys. How many of you have this? You know, have a bottle in the last two or three, even four years. Do you like it? Do you love it? Is it something you bought, wore a few times and it just kind of sits on your shelf? I can understand both sides of that equation. 
And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on Chrome Legend, you give it a spray now, I don't know. You might end up thanking me later.